What's up, y'all? It's Dubby. I'm back with another Mutt Draft gameplay from Season 2 Leaderboards. Top 5 grind. Right now, I'm currently number 1. This is against the number 2 player who was number 1 when we locked in and played this, and that's Stickwork. One of the best players this year and one of the top grinders of the leaderboard. You see here, he's starting out a little deuce close. You know, you kind of got to play basic defense against deuce close. A little 4-3. I'm going a little 4-3 so I don't get pancake. A little cloud 2. They say he hits me with a couple jukes. And he fumbles. That's how you know he's on balance. So we can make sure we get some hits this game. Hopefully get the ball loose again and we can recover it. This first drive again, I get a quick sack on him right here. I cover up everything really well. A little cover three hard flats. Hits a little playmaker underneath, but that's not a big deal. I'm not sweating it. We got a third and 11 here. And we go ahead and cover everything. But he does hit the drag late. We get a good hit stick animation to stop him from getting extra yards. That's Campbell. He no huddles. I was prepared for no huddle. Fourth and two here. I said, you know what? Let me go man coverage. That way I don't get hit with little out routes or something like that. This does a good job in this zone. We play man there. And Brandon Graham, Philadelphia Eagle himself, screamed at him and sacked him right there. We'll always take that from Brandon Graham. I will always draft him. I think it's like the tier three Brandon Graham, 90 overall. He's a beast on my draft. Here we go hitting Jerry Cook underneath. Got enough speed to wiggle around, get a couple more yards. Try to hit some base. It's nice to get my run game going. You know, it's hard to pass every single play, but sometimes when my run doesn't go anywhere, that's what I like to do. We'll come at the flat. Tevin Coleman. All right, go ahead. Break and tackle back. So we go. We got an early third down. Want to try to get this. Make sure that we don't. Oh, of course, W. Take a sack. Knock me out of field goal range. That was a terrible sack. And again, we got a fourth down. Great read to see that he didn't have any clouds over there. I hit the flat route. Boom. Great play on fourth down. And here I try to just put a streak thing. We played half defense, and he did, but he lurked this, swatted up, and picked it off. My eyes went right to the fact that I was right, and he put two clouds with no deep blue zone, so I was going to throw that. I do it automatically, and he lurked it. Great play by him. It's just a terrible decision by me. I just looked at his computer players, didn't pay attention to where his user was, and that was a terrible interception. So my first stop was for nothing because he got the ball back. We're in a 0-0 game right now. Once again, trying to defend Deuce close, and here we go. I'm on my... Get clicked on my lineman. He hits a slant over the middle. This is probably uh, the most annoying offense to guard this year. This time we do a great job covering everything up. He throws the ball away, get him the second down. He's still in Deuce. This time he blocks the whole crib, only sends out a couple, but we scream with the corner off the edge. Get a sack. I like it. Need all of that. So now he goes back to Bunch. Flips it, flips it, flips it. That's what they do. Flip it all over the place just to get you annoyed. And he hits the little drag underneath. Boom. We get him to another fourth down here. So let's go ahead and try to get off the field. He no huddles again. What we try to go to right here, maybe go to a little two-man under. Just to throw him off, you know. Not necessarily, you know, that it's the best defense. But you try to just throw off the reads. Make sure. Oh, we go spinner here. And he lobs it up top. When he flips it, I didn't have a deep blue over there. He lobbed it up top. I was trying to guard his, his wide receiver with the linebacker. You know, that was a big play for him. Hate giving up big plays like that. You know, you got to make people work. And, and living it, let him score on a one-play touchdown is not letting him work. But we got to get back on the horse. Go ahead, hit a little out route, get some extra yards. Try to get the base going, but I get cracked right there. It's frustrating running and getting hit stick. Believe that. Once again, a little flat route. Jared Cook, get as many yards as possible. Fast guy still gets yards after the catch. Here we go, hit him with a running back streak. Little baby dot on third down. And here we go. Plus again, just taking the baby, take, playing good offense. That's all. Just take what's there. Don't try to get cute. You try to force something, you want to get sacked, and you want to turn the ball over like I did earlier. Here we go. Once again, just trying to soften up with the run. Here you see the time. We want to make sure that this is the last drive of the half. I get the ball to half, so even three points, as long as he doesn't get the ball back, is okay here. You see him using his timeouts to try to get some more you know, time on the clock so he can go down the field and, you know, he can get points before half, but we're not going to allow that. We go to the flats there. I notice on the goal line, he's actually blitzing everybody and putting four zones in the user. And here we go, Randall Cunningham. Ah, I try to fight to the end zone, but he doesn't get there. But I can run the clock out. I just drained all the clock possible, took the late game, and kicked my, my three. So now I'm getting ball half. I feel good. And so here he goes. A couple seconds left in the half. He scrambles with Russell Wilson down to nine seconds in the half. I blitz everybody here. And he still rolls out. A playmaker's up. Catches this perfect animation on the sideline. Get out of bounds. So frustrating giving that up. You know, I want my, I wish my corners out of blitz would have contained a little bit more. But now with the new patch, they, the contain is on the ends. And then the corners aren't contained. So... It's kind of tough to keep the quarterback in the pocket now, but, you know, we got to get used to that. 
So here we go, second half. I'm down seven, but you know I get the ball, so it's all good. At the end of this drive, I want the game to be tied. Then we're gonna get a second and six, get a little run, get a couple yards. A couple yards is better than none, but you know I'd like to be busting these bases for you know eight to ten yards every time. Here he goes. One cover too hard, flat, able to hit the corner out there on third and four. Nice catch right there. Uh, here we go, a little PA post. It was kind of back boxed up, so I ran with Randall. He got hit. Oh, we fumbled, but a fat guy was there to recover, man. You pay the fat guys to recover fumbles. Randall again. Oh, I went went for the mm, went for the post. Then catches the Odell drop. The Odell's not reliable for anything. But here we go. We got a third and six. We're gonna go here, hit the little delay route to the running back. I play on conservative. I can't break a tackle, but that's okay, you know. We got a fourth and four. We're gonna run the same play. He doesn't adjust to it, so I'm able to bang hit Tevin Coleman underneath. Don't need to break a tackle when you're that wide open to get the first down. So here we'll keep going. Hope we're gonna pop another base. Oh, we got cracked by Earl Thomas right there, but, but that's why you play on, on conservative. Now here we go, Jared Cook fighting on conservative for me. I think he went for the strip. Here we go again, just, ah, oh, I hate that. When I go to scramble, I have such a hole in my guard tackles me. It happens to me so often. I step up and the guard just tackles my life. Here we go, Randall Cunningham under throws the C route. I don't know what's up with that. Got a third and 10. But this is why you live with Randall. He might throw the ball bad once in a while, but sometimes he'll fight and scramble, fight for your first down. So he giveth and he taketh away. But you know, I, I always like a mobile quarterback. It's, it's one of my favorite things in the game. And here we go. Like I said last time down here, he blitzed everybody. And he put two clouds and two yellows. I'm, I'm noticing that the, the drag didn't get a lot of yards. So here I try to put a post on my outside receiver, hit the back of the end zone. I should have blocked the tight end, though, because I do get screamed. I would have had it if I had a little more time. But I got screamed at half to kick another three. This game is all about sevens and threes, man. If you kick this many threes, you're going to lose. It's as simple as that. But here again, he's got the shines of action, making a couple plays on the kickoff. Here we go. We get a sack. Is that Brandon Graham again? Yes, Brandon Graham. Dog. Get him on your team. Here we scrambles again. Brandon Graham dives from behind. Gets Russell Wilson. Got an early third and five. Oh, we got to catch that pick. Oh, I forget who my safety. Oh, Darian Stewart was my safety. He's got to catch that pick. That's game changing. Here goes again. We go two men under here, and I got Josh Jones in the slot. Didn't have that many DBs in this draft. Josh Jones could not cover it. Could not, you know, come up with the defensive stop there man coverage. Here he goes. Just running the clock out. He got a second and ten. We play great defense here. Force him to throw the ball away. Got a third and ten coming up. I'm getting used to the plays he's running. Here we go again. We got a little pressure on him. He rolls out. Throws on a run with base Russell Wilson. Overthrow. That's cool. Okay. So I say to myself, you know what? He's going to go back to that same play. So what I do here in a box for that play, I take Richard Sherman, who's my best DB, my only 91 zone, and I put him on the corner. I switch him to this play just for this fourth down. I run cover forward press, hard flat, and I rely on Richard Sherman to cover this corner route because I know he's going to go back to the same play. And he did. Rolls out, and he tries to hit the corner route, and Richard Sherman's right there, so it's not even close to open. That's called adjusting, using your players to the right, to their strength, and making sure they're in the right spot to make a play. So, once again, we get the ball back down four. Big defensive stop. We got to make sure we go down here and get seven to take the lead. Here he blitzes everybody at me, and I get sacked. That's such a bad play. Get me to a third and 16, I'm at, and then I hit the flat route. Oh, my goodness, that's terrible. Got a fourth and long. I go ahead, boom, hit this post route to Odell Beckham for a touchdown. Big play. He ran cover three, cover three, cover three, cover three. Finally bust out the cover three beater for him when I needed on fourth and 11. Blocked the crib, trusted that he would be in cover three, and it worked out for him. I got a touchdown. Got a minute left. He was all three timeouts. It's going to be hard to keep him out of field goal range. Right now, my main goal is to kind of just keep him out of the end zone. You know, obviously, I'd love to stop him, but right now, you just can't give up a big play. You know, and that's what I want. Here he throws this pass up, and this has got to be an interception. Like, that's just a terrible pass on first down. It's got to be an interception. Here you go again. He just throws another high ball right at Richard Sherman. And come on, man. We have to have interceptions on these plays. You lose games if the game doesn't give you these type of plays. Here we go again. Oh, underneath. Good play. I missed the hit stick. He falls forward for a couple yards. So he's pretty much in field goal range now. So what we have to do is make sure we don't give up a touchdown now. You know, he's got 20 seconds, two timeouts. So it's going to be hard to score a touchdown if I don't give it to him. And here he goes. He just 
Looks for PA Pulse. Throws the drag on the deep. That's okay. We make the tackle. There's one timeout left. And right now, this play doesn't have nothing. Let's see if he chucks it down. Yeah, he gets it down. Gets out of bounds. Nine seconds left in the, in the ball game. Here he goes. He just chucks one up to Gronkowski. I'm, somebody make a play there. And once again, with super double coverage here. Chucks it up to Gronkowski. Almost gets his feet in. I think his one foot came out of bounds. Didn't get the touchdown. Kicks his three, and we head to overtime. Win the coin toss, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and kick it to the fat guys from time to time. But you got to get a couple yards with the fat guys. Get out of bounds and fall down. He, was gonna, he sends the whole crib at me. Randall says, skirt, skirt, and gets by. You know, I'll, listen, Randall or Vic is pretty much a pick for me every time because of the mobility in the pocket. Third and one, I thought he'd play all clouds here, but he actually plays cover two. So I was by. So I just threw the ball away. It was pretty much a chance play if he was in, you know, more riskier defense. I had a touchdown. But here we go. Just out route, corner route, and a drag on fourth and one. Able to come down with a nice play by me. Here we go. We're going to run the base. Get five yards. We like that. That's good. Getting close to field goal range here. We're going to pay post. He left the middle open. I knew he would run back to the middle, so I took my drag. Get inside the 35 here. And here we go with Randall. Scramble Randall. Boom. Got the hit. Cut out. Get the block. And we take it to the Baja to win the game. That's what Randall Cunningham's do. That's why we draft him. That's why we always love a mobile quarterback. Hey, you see, he blitzes six people at me. Two clouds, two deep blues. I run out, get out of the hole, and my, my wide receiver blocks the safety. That's a touchdown. Good game to stick work. Make sure you hit the like and the comment button. I'll upload tons of more of these for y'all. We out of here. Dude!